Recently, cases of cyber violence have attracted the society's great attention. Competent departments attach great importance to it and carried out campaigns against it. Last November, Cyberspace Administration of China released the notice on strengthening the governance of cyber violence, and uh, many key online platforms faithfully deliver the requirements and uh, establish the prevention control mechanism of cyber violence. They intercepted and sorted out 28.75 million pieces of information related to cyber violence prompted Internet users to post appropriate messages for 1.65 million times, sent one-click protection reminders to 28,000 users, severely published more than 22,000 accounts of perpetrators, and effectively prevented the risk of cyber violence in hotspot issues. Recently, the Department of uh, the Internet and Information Technology has instructed several key platforms to publish guidelines on Internet violence prevention, which help Internet users quickly and effectively prevent Internet violence from multiple dimensions, such as risk warning, one-click protection, private message protection, and reporting complaints. For the next step, the Internet and IT departments will continue to urge websites and platforms to earnestly fulfill the main responsibilities of Internet violence control, regularly release the prevention control of Internet violence, and safeguard the legitimate rights and interests of netizens. We have also noted that during the two sessions, deputies and members of the NPC and CPPCC put forward proposals on combating cyber violence and creating a sound online environment, and many deputies and members strongly called for the accelerated introduction of targeted legislation on cyber violence. These suggestions are very meaningful. After careful study at present, relevant legislation such as the Civil Code criminal law, public security management and punishment law and other comprehensive legislation, as well as the law on the protection of minors, the law on the protection of women's rights and interests, the law on the protection of heroes and martyrs and other special legislation, and the Supreme People's Court and the Supreme People's Procurator Procuratorate's judicial interpretations on defamation, infringement of personal information, and infringement of personal rights and interests have all made relevant provisions on cyber violence. However, the existing legal regulations still have problems such as weak pertinence, poor connectivity, and low effectiveness. The effect of system implementation still falls short of the expectations of the people. For the next step, from the perspective of cyber violence information governance, we will further strengthen the establishment of rules and regulations promulgation of relevant departmental regulations and actively carried out research in relevant departments to promote formulation of a more perfect legal system, strengthen the protection and relief of the parties, and respond to the opinions of the public. Thank you.